Hello. Today I'm going to show you how to uh, copy a disk image or an image uh, file to an actual physical disk using Linux. So I'm going to be copying the Raspbian um, operating system, the, the image that you download from the, the Raspberry Pi website, onto a micro SD card. Um, to do that I'm going to use uh, Linux Mint desktop, or it's based on Ubuntu. Um, so right now, what you're seeing is uh, my Ubuntu desktop, or the, the command line uh, for Ubuntu desktop. And the first thing that I need to do um, is figure out what disks are already installed in my computer. I don't want to overwrite any data that's uh, for one of my permanent disks, so I need to run sudo, which basically gives me kind of super user access or administrative access to access all of the uh, disks. And then I want to list the disks using a utility called f disk and we use the switch dash L and the F disk utility is a utility that handles um, disk management and L means list. Now if I just run that directly it's going to give me a lot of extra information that I don't necessarily need so I'm going to also run sudo F disk and then I'm going to pipe um, if, uh, this kind of up and down bar we call it a pipe I'm going to pipe that output into uh, another program called grep so sudo fdisk-l grep, and uh, grep is a search uh, utility uh, tool used for searching. And I'm going to grep or search for slash dev. And what this will do is uh, basically filter out all of these lines and only show me the ones that contain slash dev because they're the ones that I'm interested in. So in this case, um, instead of getting, getting all of the extra text, we just have only the, the devices um, uh, the lines with devices shown. So here we have disk dev sda, which is my first physical disk, and dev sda1, which is my first partition or my first logical disk on uh, dev sda. So using this, I can see that I have four, four drives, four disks built in right now. Uh, so I have these four physical disks and I have uh, one partition on each physical disk. So I want to make sure I do not touch any of these whenever I'm, whenever I'm copying my data down. And then I have also these virtual drives, but I don't need to worry about those so much. I also don't want to modify them, obviously, but um, I'm really interested more in my physical disks. So now that I know uh, what physical disks I have in my system, I'm going to insert my micro SD card into the computer. And then a window pops up because it had uh, a file system already. So if I run the command again, then you'll see we've added disk dev MMC BLK zero, which is 16 gigabytes, which is what I would expect. Okay, so I know that that is the disk that I've just inserted. It's, it's what I want to run to it. Currently has a FAT32 file system um, and one partition. We're gonna wipe this partition out, so I don't care about that. I'm very interested only in this dev MMC block zero. Okay, so now we need to go um, find our disk image that we're going to copy to this. Um, I'll put a link to all the, the Raspberry Pi disk images um, in the information bar, um, but this will work with any, any physical disk image. Um, sometimes you, you might get a logical disk image, but we're dealing with a physical disk image now, so we're going to copy it directly to the physical, uh, the physical device. Um, so in this case, I'm going to use a program. Uh, first off, I need to use sudo to get super user permissions to be able to write to the disk. I'm going to use a program called dd. And what dd does is copy at the bit level um, from the disk image to the physical disk. Um, so dd makes its copies at the bit level, and that's what we're, we're looking for here. Um, and then I have my input interface. My input interface, I say if equals, and if means my input interface. And my disk image is called 2016 uh, 0318 Rasby and Jesse. And if you notice, whenever I was typing, I just typed 2016 and a dash. And because the only file name that I have in my downloads folder that's 2000, that starts with 2016 dash is my image, whenever I type um, the first part of the name, if I hit tab, then tab will auto-complete uh, the, the file name. So if you're not using that, I really recommend starting to use tab to auto-complete all, all of your lines. So now we have our input interface. So I want to input 
this disk image into DD, right? Then DD needs a place to output it to. So our next, our next part of this is output interface equals or OF equals. And then I need to give it where I want to copy the data to. So in this case, I want to copy the data to slash dev slash MMC BLK zero. Okay. Remember MMC BLK zero in my case is my micro SD cart that I just inserted. So here we have uh, administrator privileges use DD. Uh, the input interface uh, is my disk image. My output interface or OF equals my um, the actual physical uh, micro SD card, not a partition. So I do not want to put, for example, P1. We are not looking for that. We are looking for only the physical disk itself. Okay. And if I if I hit enter right now, then DD would go ahead and copy. Um, copy that image directly. However, DD does not report on how much data has been written, um, which is fine. If you don't care, if you don't care about monitoring it, um, then then you can just run that command and it will work just fine. I, I normally use that, but I'm also going to show you another tool um, that is exactly like DD um, with a few more features built in, and it's called DCFL DD. DCFL DD. Uh, like I said, has a few more features than DD, but most importantly, it will tell you how much data has been written uh, to the disk already. So it's very good for, for keeping track of when something is going to be done. Um, you have to install DCFL DD separately. It is in the apt repository. Um, DD is normally built in to uh, most Linux and Unix systems. So I'm going to run now sudo DCFL DD or just DD. Uh, if equals, and that's the input interface, and then of equals, and that's the output interface. So what I'm copying, what I will copy, and where I will copy it to. Okay, so now I'm going to press enter. And then it starts usually very quickly, and it will slow down <laughs> pretty quickly as well. Um, actually, that's going faster than I expected. Okay, so uh, because I'm using DCFL DD, then I could see this kind of blocks written and the amount of data written. If you just use DD, you won't see that. But once it's finished, you will see um, this overall records in and overall records out. Okay, so now we can just eject our micro SD card. Um, and that's it, you should have Raspbian uh, r installed on the card and ready to boot up in your Raspberry Pi. Thanks for watching. If you liked that video, subscribe for more.